Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with Nimirita. So this is KC2023 most important topics discussion series. In this video, we are going to discuss about prokaryotic and eukaryotic DNA polymerases and its activities. Okay, so now uh, this is about prokaryotic DNA polymerases and its activity. There are five types of DNA polymerases are present in the case of prokaryotes. It is DNA polymerase 1, 2, 3, 4 as well as so when it comes to the activity, 3 prime to 5 prime and also 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. So this 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity usually for primer removal. Primer removal. And this 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity usually perform proofreading activity. Proofreading activity. Okay. So when it comes to the uh, types of the DNA polymerases, DNA polymerase 1 is the only enzyme which is having 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. You can see only DNA polymerase 1 having 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. Okay, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are not involved in the primary removal. Okay, that's why these four enzymes are not having 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. And when it comes to the 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity, usually uh, this is 5 prime to 3 prime DNA, right? The 5 prime end primers are added. That is short stretch of RNA strands, which is uh, helped for the DNA synthesis. In the 3 prime end, if any enzymes activity takes place, that is for proofreading. Okay. So here, DNA polymerase 1, 2, 3. These three enzymes are involved in the proofreading activity and 4 and 5 are not involved in the proofreading activity. So that's why DNA polymerase 4 and also 5 we call as a error-prone replication enzymes. Error-prone replication. In, okay, in the presence of DNA polymerase 4 and 5, so this type of replication we call as a error-prone replication because here there is no proofreading activity. But in the case of 1, 2, and 3, there is a proofreading activity. And here one more important point that is DNA polymerase 1 having both 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity as well as 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity. It is both primer removal activity and also proofreading activity. Okay, so this is in the case of uh, prokaryotes, just similar like eukaryotes also having uh, several functions. Now move on to the eukaryotic thing. So this is in case of eukaryotic DNA polymerases, just similar like prokaryotes, here also five different types of DNA polymerases are there. That is alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and also epsilon. Okay, so five prime to three prime, that is for primer removal. And 3 prime to 5 prime, that is for proofreading activity. Okay, so here DNA polymerase alpha and also beta are involved in the primer removal. Both are having 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. And here in the uh, 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity, the uh, alpha and beta are not having 3 prime to 5 prime, that is proofreading activity. But gamma, delta, and also epsilon are having proofreading activity. Usually here what happens, you know, the polymerase switching takes place. So first here, alpha is there, which is involved in the primer removal. Okay. So after this alpha, the polymerase switching takes place. That is, next come to that is delta and also epsilon. So this delta involved, uh, which is present in the lagging strand synthesis. And this epsilon involved in the leading strand synthesis. Here what happened, the polymerase switching takes place from alpha is the switching to the delta and also epsilon. Okay, so here the gamma, delta and also epsilon are having proofreading activity, but uh, alpha and also beta are the two enzymes which are having uh, primary removal activity that is 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. So this chart is very, very important. Okay. So in examination, they, they, they may ask direct questions or else they can ask the following form, whatever they can ask. So just go through this slide. If any questions, if any doubts, let me know in the comment box. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.